Hi guys, I am Prasad Bhave and in this video we are going to discuss how to run Xcode application on Windows device. So Xcode is an application which will allow user to, to develop iOS application. Now Xcode runs on OS X that means you have to purchase MacBook Air or MacBook Pro. So it costs around 50 to 70 thousand. The alternative is you can run OS X on Windows device using VMware or VirtualBox and you can install Xcode on top of that. And there are some prerequisites. The first one is nothing but WinRAR software or 7-zip software. Second one is VMware workstation. You can download VMware player also. And the third one is OS X image. Now in this case we are using 10.5.5 OS X image. And the last one is nothing but the scripts which will fine tune VMware workstation instance. Okay, so here we go. I have downloaded all necessary components. So now I am extracting or installing few of them. Now remember that OS X will take 5 to 10 GB space uh, whenever it is extracted. So make sure that you have enough disk space on your drive. Now go to file and create a new virtual machine. Click next. Now workstation 14 and click on next. Select I, I will install the operating system later. Click next. Now guest operating system other and version is 64 bit now give some name to your virtual machine in this case i am entering mac os x 10.10.4 uh, click on next now number of processor i have two processor on my system and each core has two processor so I have four processor cores. Now RAM, this is important one. At least you should have four GB of RAM to run OS X smoothly. I'm setting it to five GB. Now click on next. LSI logic recommended, click next. Now select SATA and it's a virtual disk type. Now select use an existing virtual disk click next and here we have to provide path uh, where we have already downloaded the OS X version so I am selecting that VMDK file click on next now select keep existing format and finish click on finish button so this will create a new virtual machine for me but for simplicity i am using the previously generated version before we power on this virtual machine we have to fix vmware so i have go go to download folder where i have downloaded patch tool now i am extracting that which has unlocker folder and inside unlocker folder there are various scripts now as we are on windows system we have to run win install cmd script with admin rights so i am opening that so it will <coughs> run that batch file which will basically uh, stop some vmware services tune some configuration and restart VMware services so I'm waiting for that it will take some time and it will start all VMware processes now here we go now click on power on this virtual machine now whenever you run this virtual machine first time OS X will ask for various settings like your language country creation of username and password etc 
I have already done that setup part. So once it is uh, booted, it will ask me for username and password. Now the performance of OS X is depend on the processor and RAM allocated to your guest OS. That is nothing but OS X. So here is here is my login screen. We are moving to Xcode part. We have to download Xcode from developer.apple.com. Log in with your developer account and go to this URL developer.apple.com slash download slash more where Apple gives you a search functionality. Now type Xcode and there are lot of Xcode version available. Now keep in mind that you have to select Xcode version which is compatible with your operating system. In this case it is 7.2. Now click on download Xcode 7.2 dot dmg file i have already downloaded that and i am trying to access it via shared folder now double click on xcode 7.2 dot dmg it will give you an installation screen where you just need to drag xcode to application folder and once you drag it the installation of Xcode will begin. Now it says preparing to copy to application. I have already set up Xcode in advance so I am just cancelling that installation. And let me open Xcode 3 which is installed on my system. Take some time, might be around 6 to 7 hours. So here it is. Now this is Xcode 7.2. Now I'm selecting create a new Xcode project. Now it will open a layout. Click on single view application and click next. It will ask for product name. Enter test to and click next it will take some time yes now select create a new folder with name test2 hit create and press create button now that's it and our first iOS application layout is ready. If you like this video, press like button and share it as much as possible. Thanks for watching and tune up for galvanizing video.